Hey guys, I just wanted to start this video off by saying if you need help with anything, let me know and I can possibly make a video on your idea. Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to use permissions inside of your plugin. It's pretty simple to do and um, if you don't know how to get up to this point where I'm at right now, I'll have a link in a card and in the description for you to click on to get to this. Um, so if you're new and you don't know how to make a command or something that needs a permission, then you can get to where I am. Alright, so anyways, the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do here is hop over to our plugin.yml and specify two things. One, commands, because I forgot to do that, and two, permissions. So first we're going to do permissions, and we're going to make the first permission it's called test permission. All right, and then after this, we're going to put anything uh, that you want. There's a whole bunch of different modifiers that you can put below here, and I'll have a link in the description uh, to a list that takes you to all of them. But for now, I'm just going to put a description on here just to keep it simple. And I'll just put test permission. But boom, that's how you register a permission to the server. Here we're going to see if the person sending the command has access to our permission. This video is going to be really short because permissions are super easy. So you can apply this method to, I believe, senders, players, um, anything like that. Um, I think those are the only types of things that can get this applied to it. So. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple. So we're going to do an if statement here. And inside of this if statement, we're going to put, uh, we're going to check if our sender has permission. And here we're going to put in a string, our permission name. So uh, as we put up here, I put test.permission. That's my permission that I registered in the server. And you don't have to register it in the server but it just makes everything a whole lot nicer if you do okay anyways i'm going to check to see if they have this permission that's called test permission all right and if the sender does have this permission i want to send them a message and i'll send them it in a little color here because why not There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and make an else statement here for players that don't have permission. We're going to send them another message. We're going to say you do not have permission. Alright. And then we can return to at the bottom for the both of those at the same time. And there we go, guys. That was pretty simple. So I'm going to go ahead here and build this. And we can go ahead and hop into the server. All right. So, as you can see, our permission plugin has loaded version 1.0. And if we do the command slash test, you can see we don't have permission. But if we do it in the console, you can see we do have permission because the console is OP. So, guys, that is all for this video. I know this was pretty simple, but you have to get the basic stuff out of the way first before you get to the more advanced things. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. For watching and I will see you nice next the mutt's time. nuts in Goodbye. fact